tables and coffee. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode six of Cables and Coffee here with Daryl. Say hi, Daryl. Hello. <laughs> what are we going to build today? Uh, we're doing uh, Blue Dragon Power Cables. Ah, the power cable. So what's yes. the, like, we, uh, we, we do usually a promo with these, right, every year or so? Yeah, uh, depending on uh, amp or uh, DAC or power amp, uh, we do offer a free four-foot power cable, Blue Dragon. Uh, with the standard Cardus connectors. Nice. Uh, it's a two hundred dollar value, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's awesome, and I think I think we usually do it around the holiday season, right? Yes. I don't know if we uh, we're still doing it now, but definitely something to keep in mind mm -hmm. if you uh, think you're going to be buying an amp sometime soon. So, yeah. uh, why don't you uh, get started here? Tell us what the first part part of the process is. Well, first, let me introduce the coffee. Of course, today. Oh, I can't forget the coffee. Nice, uh, Lavazza <laughs> Americano. I think that sounds right. Okay. So is that out of our brand new espresso machine? This is. It's very uh, nice. Yeah, we got a we got a brand new espresso machine to make beautiful coffee with. So uh, no more K cups. If yeah. you appreciate that, <laughs> let us know in the comments. And if you don't appreciate that, you can also let us know in the comments. <laughs> it's a whole nother level. It is. It is. All right. So uh, what's the first step here in this process? Well, after gathering all the materials. <laughs> And this, so this is the Blue Dragon power. Yes. Like, uh, we have different Dragon cables for power as well, right? But this is the blue. Yeah, we have blue and black. Nice. And uh, different options on each. Um, this is just the standard uh, connections. This is uh, the Cardus 3455s. Cool. Uh, 15 amp. And so we're doing, so US power connections. What other... Uh, styles of connections do we carry? So we do also have the Cardus, the 3455 uh, Shuko, the European connector. Nice. There. So just the two prongs. Yes. And then another option as well, this is uh, an upgraded one with oh. the Furitech Fi28 uh, rhodium connections. This Fancy. is a 20 amper. Oh, cool. So, so it's got a different plug. Yeah. So what kind of device would that go go into? I think these were going to our um, Bryston power uh, stations. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the big like power amps for our speakers. Yeah. Gotcha. Just to provide clean power. And these cables should be able to handle pretty much everything because it's it's three conductors of twelve gauge. Nice. Uh, pure copper. It's a thick cable. Yeah. What other, uh, for our other Dragon cables that we offer a power cable option for, what are the, do you know the thicknesses on those? Yeah, so the Black Dragon uses a uh, four by 12. So a little bit thicker than that one? Yeah, so it's using actually double the conductors and okay. then the braided shield that acts as the ground connection. Gotcha. So uh, I think that equates to about a nine gauge wire nice. so it's a little beefier than this one and that one's actually enamel uh, coated uh, pure copper so we have to use the solder pot to dip those oh, wow. um, this is a stranded copper yeah, of, also, all, of all the cables we've seen so far this one has the most looks like the most stuff to get out of the way to get to the cables yeah <laughs> so this has a bright a braided shielding as well which is uh, silver plated copper I'm just getting it out of the way. I'm gonna use a little bit of it. Oh nice, so even that even that outside shield is silver plated copper? Uh, yes. Cool. I so. Get down to the cut here. Yeah, let's get a little close up on that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a bird's nest. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of this. Trim this away. A little foil there. Yep. So basic construction of most things that we have. We have a braided shielding going into a foil. 
shielding our filler uh, strings. That's cool. So are those like, are they like nylon or? I guess, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what they're I guess when they're filler, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> Last piece snipped away. Let's do a lot of the close ups so they can kind of see what all the work you've yes. done there. So, you put your hand over there and see. There we go. So, we'll focus. Yep. Nice. So, we have our three conductors uh, black, red, green, just for color coding, and then a little bit of our braided. Now, shielding. can you decide which color you want every, uh, like, can you, is it? Yeah, as long as you follow your own standard, but yeah. I usually follow. Um, the black is hot, so that's going to your line. Gotcha. Uh, red is neutral, uh, so that's basically a replacement for the white okay. inside the wall. And then uh, green is ground. Okay. Uh, green, bare. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and strip these. So you left a little bit of that silver shielding on. Yes. So why are you doing that? Um, so that ground connection. Well, that's right, because you're gonna you did that in the last video where. Yeah. So that ground gonna, connection is gonna connect to the that. shielding to provide a little bit of uh, more okay. uh, EMI protection. Nice. Okay. Sorry. More strength required than the uh, <laughs> yes. We're gonna fix these up. If you're just now joining us for cables and coffee, this is our episode six of the new series. We're making our Blue Dragon power cables, which are one of our frequent promos that we do with uh, amps, and we uh, usually do a promo every year or so. So uh, this might be a little bit of a shorter video than normal, but we'd love for you to ask any questions you have about the process of building uh, this cable or any other cables. And if you have any recommendations on what you'd like for us to build in the future, let us know. Get that shielding out of the way. I don't want to short anything out. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pin these. Get all up in Daryl's space here. That smoke looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> that poor camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit more tin required for, or tinning required for these, I imagine. Yes. <laughs> now we could keep the copper uh, bare. Yeah. and straight down, but this provides a little more uh, security of uh, clamping down on, gotcha. um, and potential, f uh, more potential for not shorting gotcha. out things. So now we take our connector, which I'll loosen these up. So it's like an inverse on the other side. Like, so I guess so you, you're going to plug the cables to each one of those little Little cavities there. Gotcha. Yeah. So this uh, connector just uses a clamp. That's uh, cool. It's like system. a hinge. It's like a hinged connector, kind of. Yeah. I didn't really think about that. So actually, uh, before anything, I'm gonna uh, put electrical tape around here. Around the one you have the ground on. Yeah. Just have a loose wire. Covered. All right. Nice. So now 
Okay. So red to left prong, black to right prong, and then the, gee, the ground goes down the middle or the bottom? Yes, yeah, so once again, following mostly standard uh, electrical uh, wirings, uh, black to brass, there's some that rhymes with that. I'm not sure I can say that <laughs> on air. Uh, but yeah, black to brass, it'll save your hmm, insert. Uh, okay. yeah. Let me go ahead and get skid these. So this is the first screw screw uh, connect or screw operated connector we've seen, I think. Yeah. In this series. It's a popular connection for power because um, more current running through there and uh, screw terminal is more um, solid than solder. Interesting. Um, especially I would have thought that. Yeah. Well, especially in a place where if you're dealing with high current pull, mm -hmm. it can get warm. Gotcha. And not that it'll melt the solder joint, but. I really like to crank everything down. I've over tightened everything my whole life. <laughs> Which isn't nice great when it. you're changing your own oil. And <laughs> <laughs> Works great for cable building. <laughs> <laughs> Line this up here, like so. Now time for our clamping system, strain relief. Nice. So this is gonna be another clamp inside there that... Yeah, so this, this sits in this channel here and the clamp goes through the wire, so, you know. Gotcha. Always, when you unplug things, always use the connector to unplug yeah, them. Don't pull by the cable. Yeah, do not pull on the cable. But well, there's a chance that you might forget that. This could at least yeah. potentially remedy a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a tricky part because these being such large conductors, they do not like to set in there. So now you can kind of see where that clamp comes into play. Yep. So this keeps you from, um, yeah, pulling these out of their clamps. All right. I got that closed up, and we have the two screws here. Those aren't small screws either. Nice. <laughs> Good wrist workout today. <laughs> yeah. Just a quick reminder: if you're now uh, just now joining Cables and Coffee. This is our uh, new series where we build cables live on YouTube and a couple other social platforms. If you have any questions about our process, how we build our cables, um, any recommendations on what you'd like for us to build in the future, um, just let us know. We'd love to see what you're thinking and uh, just let us know you've tuned in. We'd, we'd love to see and learn more about some of our viewers here. So thanks a bunch for tuning in. And once again, just drop anything down in the chat there if you have any questions. Oh, and uh, maybe we, Remind our viewers what coffee you're drinking. Mm. It is Cables and Coffee, after all. Yes. Do you uh, remember the name? 
La Baza? Yeah, there La you go. <laughs> Americano. So Americano being espresso and just water, right? Yeah. Nice. The bad thing about the new machine, I have about... Now, instead of having about six cups of coffee a day, I have four Americanos a day. <laughs> <laughs> While nice. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> I don't know if that's, you are wound for sound. I don't know if that's better. <laughs> Alright, so kind of the same deal going on here. I'm impressed you don't need another like bigger X-Acto knife to do. But I guess those X-Acto knives are plenty sharp. Yes. Yeah, they cut you the jacket quite easily. So. Wrestle with the grating again. It's <laughs> a nice little crunchy noise there. This side, I'm not saving any of the braiding. Oh, because you so you only need it on the wall side. Yeah. Oh. It's part of the uh, shielding scheme. I guess you'd gotcha. Say. Deal here. Remind our viewers which one's which in terms of the cables, the, each of the colors. Oh, the color scheme? Okay, so uh, black's going to uh, line, red's going to neutral, and green is going to ground. Got my little fan again. Okay. Right. Actually done the solder. Get some of these out of the way. Necklace. Thank you. <laughs> First, let's open this. These up. Yeah. 
If you'd like to see a uh, dragon cable necklace or bracelet or any other dragon cable jewelry, let us know in the comments. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> So once again, uh, black to brass. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually notice last time that the, the, the screws were different colors, so that makes makes a lot, a lot more sense now. Yeah. Um, and then red to nickel. So you're not in a pickle? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and green to green. Well, that's just too easy. <laughs> yeah. That one's pretty straightforward, I guess. Green to green, you're in the green. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's all green. Like I said, I like to crank them down really tight. Fight me a little bit. Got a string loop in the channel. And down that clamp. Now we're good for these cover screws. But <laughs> uh, now that's some heat shrink. Yes, <laughs> these are our big old heat shrinks. Excuse me. Now it's the funny part. Need another glue stick. Last call, if you have any questions, comments, or uh, anything you'd like to discuss regarding our Dragon uh, Blue Dragon power cables or any other Dragon cables that we offer, please drop your comments in the chat. We're on our last step now, and I think we will uh, call it for this stream today. Watch Daryl do some hot glue art here. Yes. Basically, just going to build layers of hot glue to cover these larger diameters. So, 
Let that set for a little bit. start on this end oh, that one's still setting how you put it on and then you kind of you bring the gun around the table so the little like the sticky parts that always kind of pull off like string cheese mm -hmm. go right back into the you know into the other hot glue yeah so, I mean it's like I don't even realize I do that <laughs> stuff anymore it's just... the thing about burning off all the uh, nerve endings on your tips of your fingers. <laughs> you can touch hot glue. Yeah. Straight out the gun. <laughs> <laughs> so when can you tell that it's kind of set? Just the uh, way it feels? Is that, is that kind of one benefit of being able to touch it when it's hot? <laughs> yeah, and it'll color change. So see how it's getting a little more frosty looking? Oh, okay. So that means it's... Getting ready. Yeah. This is pretty much solidified here. The problem is like, I have to do three layers on each side of high glue to cover that so it has a good step down from this diameter to that okay, diameter. Gotcha. Um, so this is a, a weight game. <laughs> so I, it's a... Uh, yeah, a little faster with headphone cables where you're not using so much solder, but this is... Or sorry, it's not so much hot glue. Yeah. But this is quite a lot more. Yeah. And uh, that's why it's, it's good to build a bunch of these at once, actually. Because so. you can kind of do them in sequence. Yeah. And that's totally what we have to do with the promo cables, because I don't even know how many we <laughs> sent out last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a bunch. Hundreds, yeah. sure. Still need to once I finalize my uh, garage setup with uh, woodworking, uh, with the table saw, all of that stuff. Um, I wanted to make a bunch of these custom. Oh, cool! Uh, to the perfect length because uh -huh. I, I like you know super yeah. clean looks <laughs> and stuff like that. So, but um, well, speaking of perfect lengths, I know we offer them in kind of like predetermined lengths, but if somebody wanted a thirty or a 29.5 inch cable, could we could we do that or is that? Oh, we could, yeah, yeah. totally. Um, nice. So yeah, it's a cool thing that, about like, every cable being made to order, Yeah. Uh, basically, uh, basically every cable being made to order, uh, we can do a lot of custom stuff like that. Nice. Because they are custom cables. There you go. And while this sets up, uh, I'll show again your tech one nice nice smoky uh clear and so that one gets the it gets the dragon logo on the, yes yeah because on the shrink or the mm -hmm. shrink the, the fear tech one has a really solid clamp um the 
clamps with these two screws yeah. there. So it clamps the cable and pulls it from both sides, basically. Gotcha. And uh, it's a more solid string relief. So we're able to do this. That's really pretty. Yeah. I like how it's uh, cylindrical, like perfectly cylindrical. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can kind of see inside too a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that smoky. Once again, that's a 20 amper. Nice. So, that's one thing that we've had issues with in the past. Uh, people don't necessarily know the difference between 15 and 20 amp. Yeah. Uh, it's, does it look like this, or does it look like you know a complete rectangle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So the mail seems to be good to go. A lot more, a lot more material to shrink down there. Yeah. Yeah, it likes to curl up on itself. Now I'm gonna go back and heat that glue back up. Do the same thing for the female side, IEC side. All right, coffee's done. Coffee done. <laughs> fancy uh, glass. Only the fanciest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, the hot glue now is officially pretty frosty. Yeah. Right So, same thing, I'm gonna line that up. If you see, like, I do like a twist because I wanna heat this all down evenly so it doesn't get canted. I like how you get a little bit of the of the plug design too, it kinda comes through. Yeah. It's kinda neat. Yeah, it's very cool. That's why I love the way the heat shrink goes down over top of the tech flex on the interconnects. Uh -huh. Because uh, you can see that braiding through it. Nice. There it goes again. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Nice. Yeah, this time I caught it. <laughs> you hit it just right. It won't throw off. Yeah. I'm going to hit this glue. Dragon power cable, four foot. Beautiful. With the Cardus 3455 um, 15 amp power connections. Nice. And once again, we do offer the European version and the upgraded FI28 
uh, rhodium. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I don't see any other comments or questions, and uh, so I think we'll call it for the day. But okay. everyone who's uh, who happened to watch, please uh, keep an eye out on our site for any upcoming Blue Dragon cable uh, power cable promos. Uh, we'll let you know if uh, if any of those come out again. But thanks a bunch for tuning in. And Daryl, anything else? Um, no. <laughs> Thank we'll you. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>